the Director General, among other national executives who are in the state, to inspect the camp facilities and to interface with the major stakeholders in the state. The delegation were received at the government house by the Deputy Governor, Engineer Martins Nasser Babali. He noted that government is determined to maintain the cordial relationship with co-members in the state, noting that their security and welfare will also be taken care of to achieve the set goal. We have a lot of concern about COVID. All of us went through that kind of a thing. And it is something that we, the state must give adequate security and the issue of feeding their social welfare and so on and so forth. We are up and doing. I want to assure you that within the three weeks, they will stay in the car. Speaking earlier, the NYAC Director General, Suleiman Zakari Kazauri, lauded government's support to the activities of co-members in the state. All we are here, sir, is to thank you for the cordial relationship existing between the scheme and good people at the market. And also, sir, the good work we are doing, especially in the cover of the the food augmented, the bidding of co-members during the camp. From what we heard from the state coordinator, so we don't have anything to say. It's just say thank you. And we're also praying for other states to emulate what Admawa State is doing. Similarly, the state coordinator of the NYAC, Muhammad Abu Bakr, also commended government efforts in ensuring Admawa has become a better place for co members to live. The relationship between Admawa uh, State Government and NYAC is all a success story. Um, I am very happy to tell you that I don't have any problem with them. Sometimes I run to them in the night and they have really been helpful. And I assured them, sir, that the core members available will be put to use where they are needed. The Director General presented an NYSC journal to the Deputy Governor. The National Youth Service Corps was set to involve the graduates in the development of the country. Helda Yaduma, Tusis News.